What is going on everyone, my name is Swiss and I'm glad to welcome you back to another brand new Warface video. After around about two weeks, I'm sorry, I know it's been a long time but I just have a lot of things to do. I'm recently in the last grade uh, of my education ship during nursing school and all the stuff so it's time for me to learn. I have a lot to learn and a lot to do to pass the exam and stuff so I'm pretty sorry that I don't have such a lot of time to create videos but I try my best to do it more frequently, promised. This time I thought why not doing another question and answer video because there have been recently a lot of questions that I couldn't answer yet, probably some during the streams but not all people noticed. So this is more an update video that just people know what is going around at the moment, what are my thoughts, what are my opinions, etc, etc. First question from today is from Chirio Warfans and he is asking Swiss, is Matocom helping you with free credits that you can play and we must pay? No hate. And this is payment temporary. About this I need to say I am in a partnership with my.com but this is related to the Warface operative network. You see my channel tag also sometimes in the discord. It's called one members. One stands for Warface operative network and the Warface operative network was built by Crytek like two or three years ago already and they partnered up with some YouTubers just to support their channels. But what does that mean exactly? They don't support us with free credits. No, definitely not. But they support us with some infos, uh, with some knowledge and with some temporary guns. Like when a new gun comes out, I can ask some uh, someone of the Mido.com community managers or admins, yo dude, could you drop me uh, the new gun for like three days? I will would like to do a gun review about this gun. And maybe he says, yes, okay, I drop you the gun for five days. Or he said, oh, no, seriously, this is not possible. This happens. Free guns, of course, but only for limited days. Nothing permanent, just for limited days. And there is ever something in return, like a gun review or something like that. So it's not just a bonus for me. It's basically for the community that they get a gun review as well. What they do as well is uh, sponsor us with giveaways but not for us for the community as well for example some of you might remember the 10k subscriber special stream all this uh giveaway items or the giveaway codes that i got was sponsored by my.com and this was possible because i was in this warface operative network in this partnership with my.com so they hooked me up with these giveaways but there was nothing for me i didn't use any of the codes by myself all of them went to the community so no we don't get paid by my.com but they support us with some temporary stuff or free codes for giveaways Next question is from Maureen Yurlina and he's asking one question. Why do you have rip line at your friend list when you two were enemies? You made even a video on him hacking and raging, being racist and stuff. Yeah, this is absolutely true. Uh, I think enemy at this part is the wrong word, but I just think, well, my opinion about this person isn't that high. There have been a lot of trouble I won't tell here in this video because it would be way too long. If you are interested in the whole story, you can watch the previous video that was like eight months or something like that ago. But why do I have this guy now in my friend list? Why do I have him in my friend list? And this reason is simple. This guy was banned. And then I saw him in game appearing and I was like, what the fuck? This guy is banned. And I did add him and I was asking him like, dude, how you came back? And he telling me, yeah, support uh, with my.com. Crytek banned me but my.com didn't and all the stuff so yeah he got back. I was pretty disappointed about that because he would deserve to keep getting banned. Sadly he didn't. He's all, uh, he's kind of alive. He's still in game and stuff. Annoying people. I don't know but I have him since that in my friend list but I not cooperating with him. Sometimes I join his matches maybe to insult him or trying to insult him. I don't know but I'm not cooperating with him, he's not my friend, he's still one of the worst person in that game. Next question is from Halvox and he asked me, do you think Warface is getting more pay to win than free to play? And at this point I need to say this is a hard question to ask for a video, maybe this would require a separate video. If you want that, let me know this in the comments down below of course. Then we talk or make some more detailed talk about this, but global I can say Warface is going more in the direction of pay to win of course because Mido.com somehow needs to make money to Crytek times where the, all the Warface uh, random boxes were available for Warface dollars. This didn't work out, the economy system didn't work out, Crytek went out of money so Mido.com 
needed to make some changes again, that was required. And I'd rather play Warface as pay to win game instead of not playing Warface because no one is hosting it. Still at this point of that, I need to say I'm not happy with the changes, I don't like the repair costs are high as fuck, but I think creative random boxes, they are in the game, we won't get back Warface dollar random boxes. That's just a fact, I can live with that for people who want to spend money on the game, for more powerful guns, they can do it. They can do it if they want, it's their own choice and I do not judge on any one of them because I still think, my personal opinion is still, even a average player with the most powerful gun can get beaten by a better player using an AK-103 or other or other any any type of other weapons because not only the weapon makes a player powerful it's the player itself that makes it powerful last question from today comes from Ladislaw Gabor Swiss you should leave this game and play player unknown battlegrounds check on steam it's positive review and more players play it than CSGO players and of course I know about players unknown battlegrounds I played this game by myself not that much yet but I like it of course uh, player unknown battleground is a great game I like it, I like CSGO as well, but Warface will always stay the main topic on this channel because my community is based on Warface players, so I will keep I will keep my loyalty to Warface simply as that because uh, the community is made by Warface players and they made me reaching 10k subscribers, so why should I change the topic on this channel now? I promised this a long time ago, I will keep doing gun reviews, keep doing best uh, top 5 plays videos, I will keep make gun uh, gameplays, all this stuff. Warface will stay the main topic on this channel, this won't change as long as Warface is alive, this is something that I promised and I will keep my word. Overall guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a thumbs up, it would help me out a lot. And if you have some other questions that we can, uh, that I could answer for the next Q&A, just leave them in the comments down below. I try to do it more frequently, as I said, I'm sorry for not producing that much videos, but I try to keep myself getting better. I, I, I really try to do, man. I hope you can understand. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment if you enjoyed. My name is Swiss. Peace out.